Okay, so this is not something that I usually talk about. If you don't know me, my name is Fabian Holland. I'm a guitarist, singer, songwriter, but I don't consider myself a producer. I just really enjoy recording and I do it a lot. But maybe that's why it's the perfect video for me to do because I'm looking at everything from a singer songwriter's point of view rather than a producer's. These are the Neumann KH80 DSP studio monitors and Neumann did not pay me to do this video but everything you hear in this video is my unbiased opinion. And in my microphone videos, obviously I can show you how the microphone sounds, uh, but it's a lot harder with speakers. So uh, take everything I say with a tiny pinch of salt. So why do I think that these could be the perfect monitors for any room? Well, it could be the fact that like all Neumann products, they're extremely well built. This is a really nice switch. Listen to this. It could be that even though they're small in size and only has a four inch cone, the volume that you can get and the amount of low end is just incredible. It could also be the fact that it has a very flat frequency response, giving a very clear and true sound. But these aren't the reasons why I like these monitors so much. It's actually to do with the technology side of things. With the help of Neumann's MA1 microphone, these monitors have the ability to acoustically align themselves to your room and your particular setup. And what exactly does that mean? By going through a setup process, the monitors send out a sine sweep, which is basically their full range of frequencies, and they send that out into your room, and that gets picked up by the MA1 microphone. And then Neumann software is able to tell how your room reacts to those frequencies, and then it can adjust the monitors accordingly. When it comes to monitors, things can get very scientific very quickly. I'm only just diving into this myself. With something like headphones, it's a lot easier. That's it. These are always gonna sound the same no matter what room I'm in. Think of your room as an instrument. Each room can sound vastly different depending on the size and the shape, what's inside your room, where the monitors are located, whether you have acoustic treatment or not. All these frequencies are moving around the room, knocking into each other and bouncing off all your surfaces. Some frequencies might be lasting a lot longer than others, and in some cases, they might be canceling each other out. I mean, think about what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make objective decisions based on what we're hearing through our monitors. So if what we're hearing is not true to the recording, then we can't make these objective decisions. I actually don't do much editing or mixing in the door. Some of you regular viewers might know this about me. I like to spend a lot of time getting the sound that I want before I hit record and I've been using these monitors as a way to achieve that. So I spend time setting up the mics that I want to use, and then I record a little bit, and then I listen back on the monitors, and then I adjust slightly, and then repeat until I am happy. You know, in an ideal world, we'd all have the perfect rooms to mix and record in, but that's just not the case at all. We're using spare rooms, bedrooms. This here is a basement. I have quite low ceilings. I have storage all across one side of the room. I have a workbench and a load of wood and other stuff I'm working on. I have a bunch of instruments in the room, including a homemade harp made from a sheet of steel. But of course I've taken steps to make this room sound as best as I can. I've got rugs on the floor, I've got acoustic panels on the walls, and I've got various tables and chairs and other furniture as well. So now let's take a look at the frequency response of my room before the monitor alignment. Okay, so this is the frequency response of my room. And to be honest, I was kind of expecting a lot worse. Uh, it's not too bad uh, here, this orange line is the target curve. So this is what we're aiming for. And you can see there's two quite big drops here, uh, both at uh, around 85 hertz and here around 150 hertz. Um, and then we have quite a few peaks here in the mid ranges. Uh, but apart from that, it's not too bad. But still, I do have some some drops and some peaks here. 
and this is after the monitor alignment and as you can see it's much better it's much flatter it's going to give me a more accurate sound so i can make better decisions based on what i'm hearing and this one here is actually the frequency response of a friend of mine he sent it to me and uh, as you can see it goes a lot lower uh, because he actually has a subwoofer in his home studio so um, but as you can see it's there's it goes way up here and way down it's kind of all over the place okay now this is the same room just after the monitor alignment and as you can see it's much better it's much flatter um, it's got rid of those those peaks and those dips uh, and it's going to give him a much more accurate sound so whatever monitors you use, make sure you do your research, get your room sounding as best you can, and make sure you position your monitors properly. It really makes a huge difference. So I've really enjoyed this subject. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What monitors do you use? How does your room sound? Thanks again to Neumann for lending me these. I will give them back, I promise, eventually. Uh, links for these are in the description down below. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.